Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Potato. So in today's video, I'm going to be making my own fishing lure, which is going to be a popper made of cork. So a couple of years back, or maybe two years back, I saw this video on a cork popper, and it was actually quite interesting. So I went out and got myself like a bottle cork, and I made the popper. Up. But it wasn't really very successful, it didn't do much, like it wasn't very good because the guy actually screwed in the hook hangers and stuff. So recently I had this idea on making my own popper la, with the same concept of using cork. Uh, and recently like, like, you know, it's a thing where people actually catch uh, chow praya catfish on poppers. So I was like, why not I make my own popper? My friend goes like popping for chow praya and the poppers he uses like this big. Yeah, it's really short. But it pops really well and it casts really well as well. So uh, I had this idea to make my own cork popper, and I'm gonna after I make it, I'm gonna test it out on chow prai catfish. So we had two wine corks, and I took both of them. They are identical corks. So I made a popper first to test it out, see how it pops, see how it casts, like roughly get like the weight and stuff. Then I get all the equipment, like the tools, the materials that I needed to make it. So I made one like prototype popper, some something like that, and it's pretty good so far. And I think it will catch chow praya catfish. So I wanna make one more, the other one, the cork that I've been reserving for the video. I'm gonna show you all how to make it. So these are the tools that you're gonna be needing for the cork popper. So this is the somewhat prototype popper that I made. It's yeah, as you can see, the big single hook at the end and the cork and the the split shots are actually dug in and I super glued them uh, so yeah these are the items that you're gonna be needing for this popper so firstly you need your cork any cork will do I just got this cork which is like thicker at the top more slender at the bottom you're gonna need uh, pliers some more pliers just in case uh, you need split rings big split rings yeah Split shots to add as weight. Super glue. Uh, steel cable. This is this this steel cable is from really really long ago, when I uh, wanted to try baiting for Toman <laughs> at my longkang, and it did not end up well. I didn't catch shit. So yeah, I have a lot of leftover steel cable. I made like one rig out of this. Uh, this is a sixty pound test by the way. Really strong. I think I, I don't know I haven't really used it much and then of course you need your single hooks so I'm using BKK Lone Diablo uh, size 2 odd the size is depending on your popper itself so for like something like this big uh, this size hooks is pretty good so first what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to cut up some wire with according to the length of like the popper itself, like this big hey. So yeah, take the wire. It's okay. I, I don't mind wasting this wire. So I'm going. I'm just gonna take like this much. It's pretty long. Uh, take your pliers and cut it. So I'm gonna use these pliers. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna just put that right there. Right there. See, so it cuts really well. Put the pliers aside. So we have our. So we have our wire. So to insert the wire inside the cork, you're gonna need a paper clip. Okay, make sure the paper clip is slightly longer than the cork itself, so it inserts in well. Just open it up. Make sure it's relatively straight. It doesn't have to be super straight. The straighter the better, yeah. Yeah, like that. Uh, to make the incision easier, just grab a safety pin okay open it put it right in the middle push that in so it will make room for the paper clip and the wire it's easier to insert so take your paper clip okay right in the middle just now where you inserted it just push this right in uh, if you want you can use your pliers this way it'll, 
it will help push it in. So basically, you just grab nearby, just push. So it came out from the other side, you see? Right here. So you got your initial hole. It's a bit low, but it should be fine. Just take your wire, find that same hole, feed it right through supplier makes life more easier as you can see so yeah Ta -da! okay so what you're gonna be doing now is so yeah you're gonna need crimps i'm so sorry i forgot about that so just add this to the items that you'll be needing so you're gonna need crimps mine has two holes like it's yeah you can see it it's like it has two slots just take out a bit more wire, okay, like that. Uh, put this in. Okay. Before you put it back, because this is the rear end, yeah. Grab one split ring for your hook. Yeah. I already this is like 77 pound test. So yeah, these are some heavy duty split rings. They will not break on you. Just grab your split ring, feed it through, so just turn it around, put it into the hole again. So now you have a split ring on one end, pop Now the front can be fine. This big, give it enough room to sway around like this, like it's not an issue for the split ring, like it dangles freely. So at about that much, take your pliers, you just put so yeah, just put it right in the middle uh, of the crimping tool place. Press it really hard to crimp it in place. Cut it off about like this far. I leave a bit of tech just in case there's any type of slippage. Yeah, that's one side. Just pull that out a bit. So you have one side like that. Make sure it's roughly straight. So your hook will hang like this. So just grab the crimper. Run it through the wire. Same thing. This time you just don't give yourself as much tag as before. Put it through the hole again. Give it some, some room. Put it into the crimping tool. Just press it really hard. Use the table. Cut yourself. Like cut the wire. Just have some tag as well. So yeah, just pull this out a bit. Put the other cable inside. Stick this right through. So yeah, now you got that done. Uh, now you need to make uh, holes for the for the split shots. Yeah, you're gonna need a pen knife. I'm sorry, I didn't tell say that just now. So take a pen knife. Okay, make a small incision right here. Take your split shots. Grab three. As you can see it's has the hole right the mouth. Take your plier, just press it together so to close the hole, make it a joint. Three of it now, like that. Find the depth of the hole itself. So this one can only fit one ball. So we're gonna have to over it up. We're gonna do a triangle shape, something like like that. Yeah, something like that. So just take your pen knife, start eating away the cork. So now you got a small hole. Try and fit all these three inside. You can see it doesn't, it's still 
needs a bit of space. So yes, continue cutting away until you find the right amount of space. Okay, now I think this is enough space. So just squeeze your three split shots in. It has to be tight for that. So it squeezes in pretty well, as you can see right here. Now, uh, okay, just use the back of your plier. Yes. Push it into place. Voila! Right there. So, it's in place now. Don't worry if it bulges out a bit. Like, as you can see from the other one also, it bulges out. So, uh, take your super glue. Actually, uh, put the hook on first. So, yeah, in case you. Because once you put the super glue on, you can't do anything with it. Uh, let it dry. So, since the popper is like this, make sure the hook is facing this way. Not this way, okay? Make sure it's this way. So, you have the hook on. Make sure the hook is in the correct direction. Yeah. Just like that. The hook is dangling nicely. Now put back your split shots. Make sure it's nice and tightly inside. So it's nicely packed inside. Just take a bit of the cork, the extra cork. You put it inside the gaps. Just to give it some extra, like, to make it stick properly. Because the super glue is going to be the only thing that's holding this together. Okay, once you have filled in the cork like this, as you can see, you don't need to fill it all the way. Like, for this one, you see, it's just a bit only, just to make sure it fills in the gaps. Yeah, for this one, I added half a split shot more, so this is heavier than this. But three will still make the job done, so get your super glue. Yes. Drip it onto the cork and... Make sure everything is nicely soaked in the glue. And yeah, we're basically done. This is the cork popper. Uh, just let it rest. Put the cork, the popper like this. And just cap it together with the plier. So to let it dry. So once about, after about uh, 20 or 30 minutes or so, uh, once it's really hardened, I'll just drip a few more drops on top of that. And yeah, then we're done. So yeah, that's how you make your own cork popper. I'm just gonna let it dry now. So I hope you all like this video. Uh, stay tuned for part 2. This is just part 1. This is the making. Then once I'm, like once this is basically done, I'm going to ortho to, to test it out on some chowpraya catfish. So the end product should look something like this. So yeah, don't worry. It's gonna be, hope it works. Because it's wired through, so I don't think the the fish will actually come off. But I got a feeling the pop the cork is gonna get destroyed. So yeah, stay tuned for part two. I these are like one of my first few attempts at making this cork popper. I lost the first one that I made like two years ago. Tell me in the comment section if y'all like this style of videos, like making my own fishing lure and testing it out on like big fish. So I'm going to test it out on Chow Prior. So stay tuned for more. Uh, stay tuned for part 2, yeah. Uh, I'll be testing it out. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram link will be in the description. I hope you all like this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Okay. Stay tuned for part 2. Bye-bye.